Welcome to Power Code Music. In this video, we're going to talk about the best home studio setup solutions for under $550. Now on YouTube today, there are a ton of different videos that talk about how to do this. Now what's interesting is you need to understand and know and have an idea of how you want to record. You might look at these to try and figure this out, but there's a couple basic questions you want to ask. Number one is, do you want to record your music on your personal computer or do you not want to record on a personal computer? Do you want a standalone hardware solution? Well, my perspective is a standalone outside your personal computer hardware uh, solution and that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you are the type of person who is looking for a digital audio workstation software based solution for your computer, this is not the video for you. You would want to, I don't want to waste your time. You would want to go and check out one of those videos. But if you are a person who wants a simple, elegant, reliable, internet safe source solution, then you've come to the right place. So. What's cool is setting up a new studio, beginner studio for recording at your home is easier than ever. And I thought to myself, if I was starting from scratch, what would be my initial setup strategy going forward? So with this, the great thing about the solution that I'm going to offer you is that, um, you know, if your PC crashes or you get a virus, you can still record your music. So I'm setting a realistic budget here for of approximately $550 uh, for my solutions that I'm going to give you. Um, and this is not an unrealistic starting budget for most people who are serious about setting up a recording studio uh, for a hobby or more at their home. So the assumption is that you already have all of your instruments and accessories. For instance, your guitars, your keyboards, uh, your amplifiers and drums and cables and things like that. But even with my solution, you don't need an amplifier, but you'll see that uh, as we move on. What is important to understand is that when you set up your solution at your home, there are three base essentials that you need to have. Uh, number one, is an audio recorder mixer some way shape or form number two a microphone and stand number three headphones and or or I would say or uh, reference monitors for uh, being able to listen to your final mix downs so let's take a look at first out of the gate the audio recorder mixer now my initial recommendation for this area is to purchase a used Tascam DP24. Now this platform is awesome. I've used them for years and they are one of the best selling hardware platforms that you can buy. Tascam can't go wrong. They are the king of this realm. So the platform is simple, easy to use, and it's internet safe. Doesn't have, doesn't have to connect to the inter internet and it is reliable. That's what we're talking about here. Now used Tascam DP24 prices range anywhere from $275 to $380. And this is of course without shipping your tax or anything like that. So you might ask, well, why is this so great? Well, here's why I recommend it. Not only do I use it, I've used it for years, but this platform gives you simultaneous 24 track playback for full scale production. It has 12 mono tracks and six stereo tracks for recording an entire band. Now the stereo tracks can also be used as mono tracks for, you know, more flexible inputs. Uh, 24 tracks uh, with the, the unit has 24 track, uh, 24 tracks with eight inputs for monitoring and mixing. You have simultaneous eight track recording for session multi-tracking for live, you know, performances, uh, recording live performances, or just recording in your studio. Now, you have professional standard bit depth and sample rate settings. So we're talking like 16 to 24 bit and 44.1K to 48K recording settings um, for that, sample rate settings for that. Uh, it has eight combo jacks for mic and line inputs. Uh, it has high quality mic preamps with phantom power 
for condenser microphones if you have condenser mics it can handle that now here's the cool part right it has one input that's impedance selectable now this means that you can plug in directly your guitar or bass okay to the unit you don't need an amplifier it has amplifier simulation settings to handle that so that is one thing that's really cool is you don't need an amplifier to record with this particular device it also has unbalanced and balanced stereo monitor inputs for additional flexibility there's two effects sends so if you have uh, additional outboard gear um, you can plug it into this device and use it affects outboard gear um, with that it has a of course the headphone headphone jack for your head for your phones uh, the studio quality effects built in for a guitar mix down and mastering it has a complete and full mastering section you don't have to buy any effects processors they are easy to use the settings are programmed by professional engineers all and there's a library in the unit that you can select for the different type of music that you do whether it's country whether it's pop rap hip-hop jazz anything it will blow your mind you have to check it out it also has bounce functionality to mix input signals and playback tracks uh, to record the your final mix signal. Um, it has virtual tracks capability um, that you can create many virtual tracks and then select one for a particular mix. Uh, the functionality also includes a mark function, a chromatic tuner, and a metronome, all built into the unit. What's really cool is you don't have to connect to a PC with the Tascam DP24. If you want to for file transfer, what's cool is it has file transfer capability the same as a USB mass storage device. So this means that if you wanted to connect your Tascam DP24 to your computer, you would just do that via USB and the Tascam DP24 on your PC would look just like it was a USB device so you can swap files back and forth uh, between the two totally awesome so with that um, let's move on to our microphone and stand my recommendation on microphones is to purchase a used sure SM57 microphone now this is an excellent <laughs> microphone for capturing sound from virtually any uh, source that's either live or in the studio. I have had this microphone for decades. Recording engineers around the world will swear to its accuracy uh, and the fact that it's rugged and built to last. You just, you can't go wrong. Sure is one of the top microphone manufacturers in the world. So with that, um, used FM57 prices, uh, are approximately $80. I suggest you go that route. Um, a new microphone stand you can find, for instance, on eBay, um, even with some boom attachments, it's pretty good for around $20. Now let's talk about the a little bit more about the Shure SM57. This is a dynamic uh, microphone. That's the type. Uh, the pattern is a cardioid pattern. The frequency response for the SM57 is 40 hertz to 15 kilohertz. Its output impedance is 150 ohms and it has an XLR connector. So let's talk about uh, now moving on to the reference or the monitoring uh, part, which is number three of our three essentials. We talked about the number one, which is the audio mixer recorder. We talked about number two, which is our microphone. Now we're gonna talk about the um, monitoring. So with headphones or reference monitors, we're gonna look at two different parts of the solutions for flexibility here. Um, and the first is headphones. So if I recommend headphones to begin to start with for your monitoring because most home studio environments do not really have good setup uh, engineered rooms for monitoring. And so with headphones, you will get an enclosed monitoring environment so that you can you know, get a better, uh, have a better sound environment for your final mix down. I strongly recommend this to start out. 
Um, so my re in, in regards to headphones, my recommendation is to purchase the AKG K240M Studio Semi Open Pro headphones. These headphones are comfortable, they are reliable and accurate. I have used these headphones for over 30 years and I can guarantee right out of the gate that you cannot go wrong. I have mixed down countless songs using these cans or the excuse me headphones and they will not let you down you will get an accurate sound representation every time they have a pretty wide dynamic range and great detail they also are very sensitive so the price for a new pair is approximately seventy dollars and used again on like eBay and Reverb, you can get them for around anywhere from forty to sixty dollars. Now these are semi-open headphones. Uh, they you know they fit around the ear. They're not buds or anything. The driver size on the inside are th they're thirty millimeter. The frequency response is excellent. Is they're fifteen hertz to twenty five kilohertz. It's close to flat as is is you can get there. The impedance is fifty five ohms. The cable strikes not the cable uh, type is straight. It's not a coil cable. The cable length is nine point eight inches. So you can also extend that if you need to. Um, it's a replaceable cable and the plug size is um, an eighth inch plug, but you can also use a quarter inch adapter if you need that. So that would be if you are going to use just headphones in the solution. However, let's move on to say you, you have a pretty well treated room or you prefer to use reference monitors as instead of headphones to start. So let's look at the reference monitor part of the solution instead of using headphones. So my re recommendation when it comes to the reference monitors is to use the Mackie CR3 Creative Reference Monitors. Mackie is one of the leaders in high quality studio equipment and these particular monitors are excellent for multimedia or should I say many different types of environments um, to monitor on. They're very, very accurate. So they output 50 watts of stereo sound from two three inch woofers and two ferro fluid cooled uh, 0.75 inch tweeters. Now they have a pretty broad frequency response of around 80 hertz to um, 20 kilohertz which is pretty good. The price for a new pair is approximately $90 which is killer. I mean this is insane. Now used prices range anywhere from $50 to $80 for these particular monitors. Now the Mackie CR3s are powered monitors um, and they're a single amp configuration. They have three inch woofers like we talked about. It, they have the driver type is a polypropylene coated uh, driver. Um, the tweeter size we talked about is again is 0.75 inches. The frequency range and frequency response is important. Here's the frequency range for these particular monitors. 80 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The frequency response I think we talked about was 60 hertz to 20 um, kilohertz. The input types are really one of the most flexible uh, uh, parts of these monitors and why it's so cool. It has one um, eighth inch auxiliary input for the front. You, like you could, unplug a, you could plug a cell phone in there and play your music from a cell phone and monitor it back, which is pretty cool. Um, it has two quarter inch uh, uh, inputs on the back and one dual stereo RCA input for the back. Um, the output types, it has one eighth inch uh, output for your headphones. Um, it also has for outputs, it has a bare wire terminal connector pair in the back as well. Um, now the enclosure type for this particular monitor, this particular monitor pair is a rear ported. It has like a hole in the back uh, for to, to get extra bass response out of it, which for smaller monitors, the bass is excellent. You'll be shocked. Um, it's a solid, the enclosure material, it's a solid wood cabinet with like a black vinyl wrap for the Mackie CR3s. So to sum this up, let's take a look at the setup with headphones, how much that's going to cost, and a setup with the reference monitors and see and see what the price will be, the total price will be for that. So let's start with the headphones. 
So when we look at the headphone based configuration, we're looking at a used um, Tascam DP24 with at a max price, which I don't suggest you pay any more than that, of $380. We look at a new Shure SM57 microphone, or I'm sorry, a used Shure SM57 microphone at $70. We look at a new microphone stand at $20. Uh, and we also add a new AKG 240 set of studio headphones for around $70, you get a total of $540, which is $10 under our $550 um, setup budget. So that's with the headphones. Now let's look at this solution when we remove the headphones and we add the reference monitors. So the total setup with the speakers or reference monitors, uh, we're looking at a used Tascam DP24 at $380 max. We're looking at a used Shure SM57, uh, which we pay $70 for. We're looking at a new microphone stand for $20. Uh, we're using, we're looking at a used set of Mackie CR3 creative reference monitors at $80. Now that total maxes us out at our budget of $550. So either solution is quality, it's reliable, can't go wrong. So they're designed either or, either solution is designed to be simple to set up easy to configure and you can start recording almost right away once you get uh, these items and the learning curve for either solution of course is low. With this the solution should outlast any personal computer software based digital audio workstation platform today you could use this solution to record for the next decade or more. You'd be fine. It is safer than any di digital audio workstation software PC based solution because it's internet free. It's not connected to the internet. You don't have to worry about any of the downsides of constant software updates, drivers for external hardware. You don't have to, for your PC, you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, it has, it's safe with no software installations, continuous updates, and potential conflicts or steep learning curves that are often associated with digital audio workstations. Um, that's why I would use, and I do use, this particular approach. Because a lot of us want simple, safe, reliable, easy to use, um, it's easy to support. Uh, solutions that's going to last for a long time. Money's tight and our lives are complicated enough. Why make it even more complicated when you just don't have to? So those are my solutions and why I suggest them. Well, that's about it. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Um, click the subscribe button on your screen right now to join our group. We have new videos coming out each week and we'd love to have you be a part of our team. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below and while you're at our channel, take a look at some of the other videos, listen to the music and let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.